my little dumpster fire babies. How is everyone doing this morning? I hope that your day is off to a wonderful, fantastic start. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Carrington. I would love for you to join this dumpster fire family. You can do so by hitting that subscribe button, clicking the little bell. Don't forget, if you guys all enjoy this video, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. Go follow me over on Instagram and let's go ahead and let's dive on into today's video, which is testing out some more new makeup now some of this stuff like isn't like brand brand new to the market it's brand new to me so we're gonna try it out so what do we have so i have this l'oreal age perfect four in one tinted balm i literally have heard nothing about this but i was at walgreens and i saw it so i was like <laughs> yes please like I i'm willing to try that then i have some of these from Maybelline these are the super stay vinyl ink I have a couple of different shades not sure what we're gonna go for but we've got options we're then gonna use this Natasha Denona this is the baby gold palette again I'm a huge fan of like smaller type things I just am uh, then we have this from the Sephora brand this is a matte blush in the shade over the moon uh, and then I do have this from Colfi um, this is one of their um eyeliners um i heard it's supposed to be like really good like top-notch eyeliner so i'm really really excited to try that out and then we have the huda beauty balm brows mine is in the shade soft black so the darkest that they come up with i of course have used it before but i decided let's try it out in the shade soft black so let's go ahead and let's get started all right my little dumplings so i start off with my eyes first i have primed them so we're gonna go on into this natasha denona baby gold palette now i personally love these i love just how like simple they are i love how like easy it is to just like create a look this is great for like if you're traveling somewhere um it's great you know if you just don't want to be bothered trying to come up with a whole bunch of different looks so we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to dive on into the shade right here i'm going to use all of the shades you can go ahead and in your own time if you want to use just one if you want to use all if you just want to add this to the crease you know just add a little bit of like you know bronziness and then like a wing like you know the possibilities are endless but also simple you know and who doesn't like simple once in a while okay like we don't need to go all out every day so i will say this is it's really pigmented right off the bat um it's definitely like the usual natasha denona formula blends beautifully builds up nicely and then i am going to just kind of take this and swirl this down around to like the outer corner because again i'm only having two shades to build like the depth that i want so definitely just going to just kind of focus on making sure everything is blended. Last up is going to be um, that deeper, darker shade that we're going to put on the outer corner. I'm just going to pick that up with my brush. And we are going to start pumping that in. So I'm really focusing it on the outer corner at first. Definitely need that to be like the, the, the deepest part. So it has the most depth and dimension. And I'm just kind of like tapping it on because then I'm just gonna kind of start taking it and slowly blending it out. Like so. So then just to do all over the lid is just going to be this like little gold shade right here. Um, do these all have shade names? Yeah, Log. So we've got Log, Oro, and Sand. There we go. Okay, there we go. Just like a really nice, pretty gold. So that's really pretty. Yes, yes. We are now ready to move on into the L'Oreal Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tented Balm. It's infused with a firming serum. Mine is in the lightest shade, um, in the shade One Fair. But I feel like this might be 
maybe a little too yellow. Um, this will help make skin look firmer. It'll smooth lines, conceal imperfections, and even tones. How, it doesn't say how to use. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, so it feels creamy. Feels very, very creamy. Okay. I think it might be a little bit too yellow for me, but okay. So it blends in really nicely and it leaves kind of like a little glow. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my sponge first. I'm just going to dip my sponge in and see what happens. Hmm, okay. So right off the bat, it does instantly start covering up my redness. Now, is it perfectly covering up the redness? No. Let me just, but, 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 I will say it is nicely, kind of, like, it's just really nicely blending into the skin. So I'm gonna pick a little bit more up this time. I didn't pick a lot up to begin with just because I didn't know, like, what the coverage was gonna be like, the finish, anything like that. So I am just, like, picking up slightly more this time okay <sighs> definitely like very very yellow so I need to like start bringing this down the neck I don't need to go crazy with bringing it down just because I am wearing like a turtleneck type thing but definitely okay all right so it is blending into the skin nicely um i wouldn't say this has like crazy coverage um it definitely has like a like a a light i wouldn't say sheer i would definitely just say a light coverage um and but i am able to build this up to like a really i feel like a good solid medium coverage um i'm not going to try to build it up anymore just because i personally um really only like up to a medium coverage um, and since I am going to be like in meetings and stuff today, I definitely wanted to make sure that I had a pretty good amount of coverage. Um, but again, I just think it looks so nice on the skin. It definitely needs like a really nice glow. It really melts into the skin. Like I'm not having any issues with it, like settling into my lines. Um, anything like that is not looking heavy. It's not looking cakey, nothing like that. I think it looks, I think that it looks really nice. Um, the only thing is that I wish it was not as yellow as it is. And I'm afraid it might oxidize. I don't know for sure if it's going to oxidize or not. Uh, I'll definitely have to like let you know as we keep going through the video. But if they had like a lighter shade or something more for like cool skin tones in the fair shade, I think I would really, really like this. Okay, we are now back. Let's go ahead. Let's move right on into our next stuff, which is going to be the lower lash line. So, okay, I, I did not preface this video, I feel like. Well, I, as you can maybe tell, am feeling a little under the weather. Just, you know, slightly a little under the weather. Um, so I apologize for my voice here in advance, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to start off with that lightest shade and we're just going to smoke that right on underneath the lash line and, and it's not COVID. It's not RSV. It's not the flu. It's none of those things. It's a bacterial, uh, issue. Oh, it just is. Yep. Oh, cause like I have no stuffy nose. I have no runny nose. I now have no shortness of breath. I don't have anything else except for a, a cough and my voice sounding off. That's it. But it's been this way for like three weeks now. I right, just progressively just keeps getting worse. Then we're going to take that darkest shade and just focus that right here. You know, I don't know. Never blush. We have like this really cute. It's like a, a little like a purpley pink. Um, and I just wanted to see. I hear a lot of people talk about this like Sephora blush formula. I've never tried it. So I figured today would be the day, you know? Okay. Now it does. It did say that it was matte. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, it did provide a little bit of color, but let's see if we can get some more color placed on my cheeks here. There we go. Okay, so this does take some like layering, some building, um, which is not a bad thing. And I will say this is a really pretty blush and I really do like this blush formula. I don't feel like it's like too much. One thing I did wanna say about the foundation is I sat it down with my Maybelline Fit Me setting powder and I mean, it looks, it just looks good. It looks so, my skin looks just so airbrushed. Like I just don't, you know, it just looks, it just looks good, you know? Okay. So then I want to test out this from Colfi. This is that eyeliner. I want to put this in my waterline. Um, this right here is in the shade Cheeky Chiku. Ooh. Okay. So it's like a roll up one. It's not a pencil. So let's see what happens. I put this in my waterline. Okay. It's a little bit of a lighter brown than I thought, um, but I don't hate it. It, you know, it's very pigmented in the waterline. Um, I didn't notice, you know, that it left my waterline. I think it looks pretty good. It's now brow time. I've used this before. Do you see how tiny that is? That is so tiny. There's no way I'm going to be able to do my, 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 like fill in my brows with that or anything like that. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to fill in, um, my brows with this because I want to show how good this is for like the front of the brow. So give me just like just a few seconds. So I have now got my brows where I would like them. And then we're gonna go in with like this little, little tiny, little brow pencil. It's just, oh, hold on. I gotta actually roll it up to actually get some of the, the pencil, you know? Who'd have thought, Karenson, who'd have thought? I feel like that's kind of funny. Who'd have thought? Anyways, okay. So this is definitely a very, very soft black, especially in like comparison to like the other brow product. Like very, like just very light. Hmm. So I think we're finally here for the very last part, which is going to be a lip option which i feel like is gonna be maybe like a little bit okay oh that's cute okay let's swatch each of these so this first one is in the shade witty okay. are these supposed to be like dupes for that for the um oh, what is it called the urban decay ones is that so this is a really pretty and cute color. And then the next shade is going to be a lippy. Okay, this was deeper than I thought it was gonna be. Ooh, that's definitely deeper than I thought it was gonna be. Much deeper. Oh, okay, this is hard. Okay, okay, hold on. Um, ooh, okay, yeah, this is the hard part. Cause I think they're both cute. Oh, this is so hard. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go into Woody. We're gonna go into the first one that I had gotten. Okay, does this does this say how to use or anything? Shake for at least five seconds. Apply as you normally would and let dry. So, okay. So I am kind of sensing that this is probably very similar to the like Urban Decay. This is what, this is like the vibe that I'm getting is like, this is definitely going to be the Urban Decay. Okay. I feel like that's more than five seconds, but okay. So I'm just going to collect this, get this picked on up and we're going to like apply. <laughs> Thank you. 
So here is the completed and final look, testing out some new makeup products. What do you guys think of the overall end look? I'm actually very impressed with how everything turned out. Let's do a little bit of a close up. So we can see the skin. Um, we can definitely all of it, the lips. Let's check the forehead, brows, eyeshadow. Okay, so that's what's kind of like in up close i don't use filters okay i just i just i just don't that's too much work that's too much work like it's too much work let's go ahead let's dive on into my final thoughts of everything doing my favorite thing which is ranking from my least favorite to my most favorite coming in last place i will just say i think there's good and bad in all these products and i liked them all okay i just wanted to say this i don't think there was one where i was just like wow that was terrible um so first up is going to this colfi eyeliner um so far it has stayed in my waterline but again i literally just tried this out like i don't have any thoughts or feelings on it quite yet because i don't know how well it's going to stay like my makeup has only been on for so long like you know so i need to see how long it lasts so i'm just putting this in last place because right now i have zero thoughts on it i think it's a really i think it's a pretty color um i will say i thought it was uh like on camera like on, when you swatch it it's like super dark but like in your waterline it's just it's not quite as dark it's like a very like medium it's even like a medium warm brown in a way um not at all that deepness that i was like hoping and expecting but again i don't really have any thoughts on this product quite yet next up is going to be this huda beauty bomb brows I really like this for doing like the sparseness at the front of my brows. Like this is the product for me with those little fine strokes because I have zero hairs. I, okay, I have a couple little tiny hairs at the front of my brows, but they ain't a lot. I will say though that I can't really use this because of how fine tipped it is to actually fill in my whole brows unless I'm wanting to use the whole entire pencil in one go which as expensive as this is i'm trying to make this last i don't want to just use it once and be like done so i love this love 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 this for getting those like little hair like strokes in the front of my brows i think this is phenomenal this is fantastic but for me again i'm not i'm just not going to be able to i would have to incorporate this with another pencil and when i'm going through my collection i'm not sitting here being like okay this is going to be this is going to be for like i'm going to outline my brows with this i'm going to fill in with this baby hairs for this like i'm literally just like i want a one and done which is why i so much like the this one uoma it's a drugstore brand right much cheaper than this comes with like a great 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 like pencil yeah like a very yeah it's like a pencil and then you have a gel on the other side and i think it looks really good so for me it was just like you know i can't use it all the time like i can't use it you know for my whole brow but i really liked it next up are going to be these uh maybelline superstay vinyl ink okay all right i have some thoughts first of all i feel like that is complete and total um dupe in a way similar very similar to the urban decay what i will say though is i feel like the urban decay is markedly more comfortable on my lips than that was that was just like so sticky and drying and heavy on my lips that i hated it i honestly had to go in with a gloss on top of this so that way it didn't feel i i wasn't continuously having it feel just so just like thick and dry and heavy it just wasn't fun for me so um you know other than that i love the finish i love the color it was like ease of use um i love the color that my lips are i think this goes so well with like the whole over like whole entire look wow wait okay maybe what i said made sense i don't know i'm, just, I'm still kind of like eh. but anyways okay so yeah it was just very dry very heavy but i love the color i think it's great because it gives you it's like a matte liquid lipstick with like a gloss finish and glosses are totally in and i know a lot of people you know sit there and complain well i have this gloss on but it just doesn't last as long so i have to make sure i always have something in my purse but i feel like with that like that definitely does last next up is going to be this sephora blush i thought this was like a very pretty color um i will say this is a formula where i did have to build it not the end of the world right um i do prefer a blush where i don't have to necessarily build it quite as much as i did with this one 
but if you are a beginner to blush or you know what not even like a beginner to blush um you're just one where you like to really just be able to to build up let me see it's just like it's even when you swatch it it's just like very light um but if you're somebody where you like to be able to like lay your blush because you might go in heavy handed and the next thing you know like you are just like i don't think there's any going back I think you'll like that if you're a beginner to blush and you're just like okay i don't want something that's too impactful because i have no idea what i'm doing that would be a great formula um they also do have really cute fun colors um and they have different finishes they have a shimmer i haven't got one of the shimmers i plan on picking one up at some point but if you're just like wow this is like a purple blush i'm really nervous about how well this is going to look on my skin you at least can start off where it's like very very mute or it's like a very very light type of color so then you can be like okay yeah, this is good or maybe I want to add a little bit more so I think that would be a good option for you as well I do like it I do like the formula I do prefer something with a little bit more of a punch but it wasn't bad in second place is going to be this Natasha Denona baby gold palette I love these little palettes okay I love them Natasha Denona quality is so good you get like a really cute simple look that literally takes you no time at all it is so effortless that's one thing that I like about it. It's just, just how effortless it is. Um, you know, you can just, you could go in with just this in the crease, just this in the crease, uh, this in the crease, um, this all over the lid or, um, you know, this in the crease and outer corner and this all over the lid, like, or you can just put this on the lid or you could just put this as like a liner or there's just like so many options, but like, it's so foolproof. Like you can't go wrong with anything that you pick. Like, it's going to look good no matter what. Her formula is fantastic. I love how just like, sometimes when I put on a ton of eyeshadow, like I normally do, sometimes I'm just like, okay, we are really dramatic. We are really smoky. We are here. But with this, I just feel like this is very nice light every day. And if I had more colors, I probably would have gotten to that like overly dramatic, overly smoky eye. And there was like no coming back. Like it was a lot. But I love how like nice and light like the eyes look uh, and then the skin is just so very nice and just like very glowy and very healthy and very like airbrush and so I feel like this just goes perfectly and I love that my number one product I do have a qualm where I wish it wasn't as yellow as it is let me see if it has oxidized it has oxidized a little I will say this probably didn't play super well with some of my skincare ingredients because it is a little like a little like uh, flaky um like on my neck especially and then up all along the eyes it was probably because of those like eye patches that i put on that i probably just rub in the serum or let it set long enough which is which is fine that's totally my error but i really 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 like this this made my skin look very, very good. Like you can, you know, have like a light coverage up to a medium coverage. I don't know if you can build up any more than that. I did not try. Medium coverage is about where I like to be, uh, medium to light. I don't like to go any more full coverage or anything else like that. But it did cover up my redness, evened out those tones. It just sank beautifully into the skin. It played well with all the other products that I use, including the powders. I really had no issue with it, except for that it's a little bit yellow. It's beautiful. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you have not yet already, definitely hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if there are anything in here that you are interested in picking me and picking me up. Wow, that you are interested in picking up. Don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.